So last week on Girl Chat, we discussed a story that blew up across the nation regarding a church in Dallas that appeared to be showing a Cowboys game during service. Take a look. This church in Dallas that's actually showing the game during services. No. Check it out. No way. And to me, that's just not right. I mean, church you gonna go church. to church, go to church. And if you gonna watch the football, watch the football. No. I don't wanna be going, praise How the Lord, Steve Green. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, touchdown. And exactly. I didn't do that. Exactly. No way. Yes. You save time, because you'll be like, hallelujah, and it's a touchdown. <laughs> it's the same thing. Oh. Well, <laughs> you know what else ended up blowing up? Our social media comments. Oh, mm -hmm. We got lots of comments from fans who attend that church, and despite the multiple news sources reporting it, claimed the video wasn't what it seemed to be. Now, we love our relationship with our fans and love responding to their clapback, so we thought it was time to set the record straight. We reached out to the Friendship West Baptist Church and are pleased to welcome to the show Pastor Frederick D. Haynes III. Hello! Hi! Hi, Pastor Haynes. Thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? Doing real well, thank you. I'm honored to be here, and I thank you so much for this opportunity. Awesome. Okay, so Pastor Haynes, it's no doubt that your church looks really lit. <laughs> I want to go to your church. <laughs> but obviously, everybody across the country saw your video, so we just wanted to understand what was happening. Well, and uh, Janie, thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, your approach to it. I think it's really good, and that is praise the Lord and touch <laughs> that. I, I know <laughs> that. Uh, on that particular Sunday, uh, we were economically empowering and supporting uh, small black businesses through what we call West Wall Street. And so between the first and second service and after the second service, we gave our members an opportunity uh, in the Narthex, in the lobby area, to spend time with the businesses and again, to support them economically uh, as we move into the holiday season. The beautiful thing about it was that it was also during the day when our Dallas Cowboys, who were 10 and 1, okay? And so, no, on a serious tip, on a serious tip, uh, we knew that our members would want to rush out to see the game, but we said, okay, here's what we would do. We don't want them to rush out and not support our businesses. And so as soon as church was over, that's when we had uh, the screen uh, blow up with the Cowboys game. And the next thing I know, I was on the reel. Concerned, Reverend, yes. I was concerned. You okay? had concernments. Yes, yes, I had concernments <laughs> with it. I was like, when I saw the tape, it sounded like y'all was having the, the, the service and the story. So I'm glad that you're here because you had to issue a press release about it. Yeah. And, well, you know, I mean, just to help clear up the situation, it was not during service. Yes. Right, yes. It was after. After. A F T E R. All right. All right. All right. Haynes, you know, and I know you all about the Cowboys, but I'm about them Lions, and we number one right now. So, you know. Y'all are throwing down. Y'all are throwing down right now. <laughs> all right, well, Pastor Haynes, we understand your church does a lot for the community, so I, I, I know you just shared with us about how you did that. Is there anything else you guys are doing? Well, thank you, Adrian. We uh, do... As a matter of fact, the West Wall Street piece was designed to empower economically our underserved businesses that uh, oftentimes don't have the same opportunity as others. And so, and what they did, which was so powerful, the fees they paid uh, that particular Sunday, we used them for our Thanksgiving feast and festival for the homeless. And every oh, single that's Sunday, great. That, that's the homeless. Awesome. Uh, we've also given out over $2 million to HBCUs and $2 million in scholarships uh, to those who want to go to college. And then we're really excited because we have fought economic predators that prey on underserved communities when they're desperate and they charge high interest rates. And so what we did, we fought them uh, through our state legislature and even nationally. But then we offer as an alternative small dollar loans for those who are in desperate situations. 
that don't have the same opportunity that banks may, uh, where, where banks don't serve those targeted communities. So uh, we do a whole lot. I'm really super excited about our Thrive program where we have served over 100 young men and women every summer. And what wow. they do is they get paid $10 an hour, $10 wow. an hour, and they are mentored uh, during the summer, and it gives them an opportunity to make some paper. Awesome. And at the same well, time, I heard that. Wow. That's what I want to wow. hear. That's, That's what right. stuff we like. Dr. Yeah, Haynes, once that. again, we apologize for the misinformation. And thank you so much again for coming on the show today and clearing all of this up. Yes. Thank you very, very much. much. I love you guys. Touchdown. Touchdown. Uh, Praise the Lord. Praise yes. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, <laughs> I love it.